And next, we'd like to welcome Afua Nayarko, Assistant Professor in the Department of Biochemistry and Biophysics at Oregon State University. She'll be giving a talk entitled Embracing Dynamics, Distinctive Feature of Multivalent IDP Assemblies in Cell Growth Regulation. Go ahead and tell me a little bit about your talk. Well, when we look at cell growth, right, if it's uncontrolled, we can get diseases like cancer because the cells just grow out of control, right? Fortunately for us, we have these tumor suppressor proteins which check the proteins that cause cells to overgrow. And so that's a nice thing. I mean, we can learn what these natural tumor suppressors do, and that can inform the way we, we design drugs for cancer. And one of the ways they do that is by binding to those um, proteins that cause cells to grow excessively. So what I'll be talking about is some of the binding mechanism, how they go about interacting with these proteins. So I know that the regulation of cellular growth has been something that's been studied for a long time, but what is it that you are bringing to this? Well, so the fact that we don't have a cure for cancer tells us that we still have a lot to learn. And what I'm bringing is looking at these um, interactions between the proteins, the tumor suppressor proteins that I talked about, in a different light. We've always thought of, about them as very static interactions where one protein binds one site and that is it. But now we're beginning to see them in a different light. We see that the binding is not just to one specific site, but there are multiple binding sites and the interactions are very dynamic, not static. And how did you find yourself in this field? Well, I have always been interested in cellular processes, right? So um, I've established a lab um, using biophysical tools to um, study multi-protein complexes. And um, it's interesting, I, I didn't get into biophysics till my grad school years. And it was, it was a game changer because once I understood the basic concepts, it made me realize how I can use these physical principles and quantitative methods to really um, address biological questions. And tell me a little bit about what you hope for the future in terms of your study, research, uh, practical applications. Yes, yeah, so we are doing basic research, but I think the work we do is really going to give us a lot of insight into disease mechanisms. Mm -hmm. And so there's a potential that what we learn can be used to design better drugs to treat multiple diseases. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. I so look forward to your talk. Well, thanks for having me.